turn up the solder iron a little bit. Lead free solder tends to be a really big pain. Picking up the solder, but not pulling it. Having trouble keeping the wick up to the right temperature. And there's a little bit more solder to get the heat to flow to the wick. There we go. Now we can start just moving around. Okay, we're going to use what I call cheater solder. What this is, is this is a special metal alloy that is like the most easily melted solder in the world and what it'll do is combine with existing lead free solder and lower its melting temperature what we do is just drop a little bit of this on here which is not even melted on the solder iron i wonder if my soldering iron is having an issue here ah there we go okay just hadn't gotten back up to temp We'll just melt some of this solder into the existing solder on there. Should let us start to form a ball that will just pull across all the rest of the solder. I only recommend using this stuff for removal because it is... Well, I mean, it's very movable, so I mean... I guess if you wanted to use it for soldering, you could, but you're in the danger of uh, things not staying where they're supposed to stay. I still have quite a bit of this stuff left. I don't remember exactly where I bought it. Um, I know there's a few different other alloys that will do the same, and metals. Um, anything with a really low melting temperature works pretty good for this. all of it pretty well in there. Let's see if our uh, solder wick will pick it up nice and easily now.
apply one more layer of flux, see if we can get one more again. Let's see if we can get any more of that solder off of there. That uh, should be hopefully weakened. Drop a big glob on there. Get a little further down the wick here. A little further down this area where it's nice and clean. And actually, let me turn off the solder iron real quick. And um, see if we can get that tip changed out. I do have a slanted tip. It's a little bit better for removing the solder like this. I just forgot to switch it out before I went and powered on the soldering iron, which these are cassette versions, which are a little bit of a pain to change when they're, well, all soldering irons are kind of a pain to change once they're on. What we're going to do, we're going to kind of change the soldering iron while it's on, which clean off some of that solder that's on there. We're going to use something like this to pull the cartridge out. We're going to try to drop the cartridge in here. Hopefully, there's melt the plastic in there. Now, we'll push this one back into place. Cartridge are the best type due to their uh, heating up all the way to the tip because the tip is actually part of the system. There's a thermometer right all the way up to the tip there. there. Hmm. This tip may not even be turning on the soldering iron. I wonder if it's too loose in there. That's, oh, there we go. Now it should be heating up. All we do is clicked in all the way. Yep, already starting to melt things. Perfect. So that's pretty well cleaned up. I'm going to turn off the soldering iron. Set a blue fuse that way. Okay, let's take a quick look at the board. You can see some burn marks on there. Could be from the removal. I'm pretty sure it's actually probably from when uh, the uh, board was actually burning itself. I'm going to look closer in my eye here too much. Got to clean it up a little bit. Standard 91% uh, scrub wall call. Give it a little scrub in there. Ooh, looks like most of the burnt come off. does look like it fried right down to one of the pads. Got a little burnt there when it was uh, cooking itself. Hopefully that pad is not gone, gone. Hmm. 
I have to probably grab the magnifying glasses and take a closer look at it. Okay. They're cheapies, but goodies. Yeah, it looks like where they cracked it, it was sparking on the board level. Probably won't be able to show you on the camera. But that top one up there has some burns. That's about where it smoked, right around that circle center part, damaged the pad itself. So this is non-repairable. I'm not going to try to run trace wires underneath a RAM chip. That's virtual insanity. Not that far under. If it was one of the edge ones, maybe. But yeah, that circle as you can see from the how these are circular this one's dented up which lines right up with that and as you see Look in a circular pattern. It might just went down in the force just actually broke the solder right loose And that's why it was smoking it was sparking, but if you made a circular pattern right in the center of that That one piece is where all that force hit Basically broke right down to the board level That is shot Well that's sad news. I'll have to give the customer a call um, Unfortunately also I'm not gonna rip apart the Spare part system today. Um, I think one of my videos has the teardown in it. If not, there's plenty more out on YouTube, and I'm sure I'll have one at some point for you guys. Um, if you really need to see the teardown of this exact design board, which you don't know if this is your board that you need to tear down of, when you get the top layer off, which is the easy part. If you can't make it that far on your own, you probably shouldn't be taking apart the system. Because that's just a couple security bits. You will see this black plastic piece up in this corner. As soon as you get that top layer off, you'll see this and immediately know it's the 1215A model. Remember, I believe from the start of this video, that's what model this one was. And just put a comment down that you need to tear down for a 1215A. And if I'm not got too much, I do not have too much work that week. I will take this uh, spare part system and break it down for you. And if you have any other requests for videos, I do have some part systems laying around. Not too much in phones unless it's like an iPhone. Um, I will try to do some teardowns for you guys if I'm not too busy, which isn't always. But hey, uh, if you like and subscribe and ask me to do something, why not? You like and subscribe? At least, at least I can do back, right? Okay, you guys have a good one. Thanks a lot.